Early on eight, boaters contacted eight on your side for help with what they're calling dangerous debris in the channel on the west side of the Gandy Bridge. Eight on your side's Jim Elena spoke to one boater demanding this debris be marked before another accident happens. You can't see the debris because of the high tide, but boaters tell me when the water gets low, that's when it gets dangerous. This was Greg Caminetti after a 4th of July boating accident in 2016. He struck this concrete debris in the channel on the west side of the Gandy Bridge. We were uh, coming back at uh, close to midnight from, from the fireworks. And uh, next thing you know, I woke up three days later in the hospital. Caminetti and his girlfriend suffered serious injuries. Well, the eye doctor said I'm lucky not to be totally blind. Almost two years later, Caminetti wants to know why the debris has not been marked or removed. Beachgoers tell us there's dozens of concrete slabs in the water. If it was real high tide, it would have gone over them, you know. And if it was real low tide, they're sticking up out of the water. We could have seen them. Caminetti's friend Dana Boley reached out to Hillsboro and Pinellas counties, but redirected to the state. There needs to be signage out here with reflectors. Eight on your side reached out to Pinellas County officials. We're told the debris is in a federal channel, which they're not allowed to mark, and it's a matter for the U.S. Coast Guard. Caminetti is warning others. They said there's something called sovereign, uh, sovereign immunity, which means you can't sue the state. They, they, they just said, you know, you just can't sue the state for underwater stuff. Officials tell me they know that the water is shallow and hazardous, and they caution boaters to navigate through these waters with caution. Now, we will be checking in with the U.S. Coast Guard to see if they have any plans to do anything about this dangerous concrete debris. In Pinellas County, Jamel and A, News Channel 8.